anything else. Some Shut up. So if you ever clear up something that doesn't work, it may make it scroll. And if you can do this in a safe reboot, it would be like you can scroll now down on the web page if you couldn't do it before. And that's what the whole difference is. If you have something, it can actually be reset in an edit, like a strong factory reset is another one. So factory reset in the safe mode off a computer restart, like full reboot. And you can edit that. That's like having the Storinator and the Destroyinator because it would free up a mount function. I don't know what I said earlier, but I think that this is like great filler because the rest of the video is really abstract. So this is a briefing for what I'm intending with explaining wave particle off of a crow's nest. I didn't really show when I talked about a humanoid, if it was a fish or a shark, it's torso and leg. There's a rapper in his name as a song titled To the Moon. And so like if you're going to outer space, you'd go to the moon. If it was death sentence, like walking the plank or something, right? So when you have cosmic scale things, tremendous stuff happens. That's why people are going to space. But if you get um, a chance that you would be on the moon, obviously you wouldn't make it longer than a day, right? But if it was either that or see the earth get eviscerated by something so fast it would happen overnight it'd be like a zombie apocalypse right but, but aside from that happening it would be a statistic equivalent to having a different planet that was colonized and smarter than us and they had one robot get taken apart and it was a humanoid size so when you're asking like a humanoid sized shark or teenage mutant turtles have warthog that's human sized in what fighting games would that look like? Uh, the Zerg from StarCraft. But in any case, Thanos, they hunted down this one picture of this person, and they, like, on a side view, found the other people because she was, like, leading them. So then one of her friends that's, like, this bug jumps on Thanos' head and puts him into, like, a coma by, like, touching his temples. And so they steal the glove off him from that, I think... That's how Iron Man got a rough copy of it. But the main point is, she like, Thanos found this one robot girl, but who was this guy next to her? He was off screen, that's how he found her. That's a different story. To, and that looks like some Star Wars alien type of thing, doesn't it? And also, funny to hear that kids watch Spy Kids, so like that whole story with Gloop turning people into humanoid, like stuffed animals. That's like Power Rangers 101, so Power Rangers to like these things. I don't know, this person just had a puzzle last night. They had like this snake with two cats and just other pictures because the cats had a koala and a rabbit. So you just put the puzzle together and that got me like lining faces up. So I saw someone in front of another person and they kept, kept saying siren head. So eventually I just like saw myself and I put my face in front of this introduction. And I saw that I did the same thing that these two females did, both looking at me, one in the car and one's behind her, like on her porch. And, but their faces were lined up each other perfectly after each other because they're doing the same facial expression too. So this whole thing with slimy twins, like if you think something the same with someone, but then you look the same too. This was Siren Head, I guess, is dangerous for. I don't know. These kids saw him online. This is a picture of him. I posted last night and called the video the title bit of a vlog. So if you've never cracked your knuckle, it feels like gas is releasing in a microsecond because I saw a shrimp pack the most powerful punch on the planet do the same thing cracking his knuckles, but it was like the tip of the finger. And that's kind of like what RAM power would be on a quantum computer if it was the size of the galaxy and you had one glove that could do it that's what the infinity gems in the comic universe first fought up with but really it might all just be an encryption code that gets broken the right way and i don't think that that would be real but that's all it takes is one snap of the fingers with the glove with the infinity gauntlet 
the only person to figure that out is Iron Man because he made an Iron Man version of Thanos' glove and then put the stones into it. So, he's in the superhero Marvel Marvel universe that Disney bought for sure. But when someone says that they're not Captain Jack Sparrow, they walk outside to dead bird getting ate by flies and another one that actually has feathers and is just looking at it sitting on the curb with his mouth open then running under a gutter and a cat is lost it's a black cat probably would eat that right away or a possum or a raccoon if it found it at night time and wanted to eat something that couldn't fly and can barely walk to the feet They have the same thing at the library, it's a cardboard, and from outside you can see through it. This guy, I can't see on his eye. Right there.